Chief Merchant Tracy Marcollis. And it gives us great pleasure to welcome our special guests from Outlander. Katrina, Sam, and Tara. Welcome. In celebration of this wonderful series and obviously the season two premiere, Saks has partnered with the team on showcasing them in the new spring uh, Magalog uh, for 2016. Not only that, uh, as you can see here, the beautiful costumes and series uh, uh, costume designer Terry uh, that has curated our windows here today. So without further ado, I'll ask the team to unveil the window. TV News. Hi. Nice to meet you. Because what was your initial reaction when you found out about the Outlander Sax collaboration? Uh, I was excited. You know, even I'm, I'm, I'm probably the least fashion literate person here today. And even I knew that this meant like a big deal and that, you know, the idea of seeing uh, the costumes on the streets of Manhattan, I just thought was a really fun and great opportunity. Do you have a favorite of the pieces in the windows? I do. You know, I kind of go back and forth. I love the, the Dior-inspired bar dress, and I really like, I think probably this one, the one we call the stable dress, because I was there with Terry when she bought this fabric at uh, Brightex in San Francisco, and I remember going into that shop and her pulling this bolt of fabric off the counter and laying it on the table, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. She said, I'm going to make a dress out of this. So it's that's always been a special one to me because I was sort of there at the moment of inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. I know, it's fabulous. How best to see it. Uh, Ashley with Outlander TV News. Hi, it's nice to meet, see you nice again. To you. Uh, what was your initial reaction when you found out about the stars, Outlander, and Sax collaboration? I screaming and jumping around the, the room because, you know, and my team, who's in the, is all in the UK, was like, what? And I was like, no, you don't understand. It's a sax with Avenue windows. I used to go and see the Christmas displays. So, yeah, it was a big, big, big deal. Big deal. Uh, how has the creative push to be ready for season two compared to season one? Uh, you know, they're equally as horrible, <laughs> I have to say. You know, with, with, with season one, we had about seven weeks to, to do what should have taken about, you know, 30 weeks. And in season two, we had, you know, more time but to create 18th century French court from scratch. So they were both just like, <laughs> hopefully we won't all die and burn here. <laughs> it was crazy. If any of the outfits from the windows were made into a ready wear, something that you'd like to see in stores available, which one do you think you would like to see transformed? I would just love to see a man wearing that. But aside from that, I mean, you know, the red dress is just absolutely, you could you could put it at the Met Gala next year and it would it would it would fit right in, you know. It would be great. And I love my Dior bar suit um, homage and I would love to see that costume go back out there again. It's just fantastic. Well, of course, it does. Everybody Raph Simmons did it 3 years ago and you know, the fashion designers keep revisiting it and it's exciting. Anything in season 2 you wanted to execute but yeah, it was next. Yeah, there was a dress I finished all the way through and then Ron cut the scene. So, I'll always give him a hard time about that. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you very much. That was TV News. We had a question about when did the creative process with Sax and Outlander begin? How long did this process it was take? about a year ago um, when the, the collaboration started um, with our business development team. Um, but when these kind of partnerships come along, you sort of know instantly whether they're going to work or not. And I know I remember my colleague uh, Kathleen coming to me directly after the first meeting um, and uh, saying that this collaboration is going to be the most perfect fit, um, especially from the, the historical fashion perspective. Um, and mixing old, not old fashion, but traditional uh, fashion uh, from the past in the 1700s and, and how we replay that in, the, in, in these days. So, you know, I think some of the you know, wonderful lines or the wonderful cuts that you see um, in the wonderful costumes that Terry's designed, you actually start to see coming through in a lot of the collections uh, that we actually sell in the store. So it was a perfect thing. Um, any thoughts on the possibility of making the window vignettes uh, available in like a 360 degree interactive for people at home, putting it on the sex website? 
Yes, definitely. I mean, we, we constantly are trying to evolve with our 360 approach to a, a lot of our campaigns. Um, it's something definitely with the windows because they are world famous um, and hopefully, uh, you know, people will come to see them. Um, around our holiday time, obviously, we do a lot of um, sort of interaction um, in the windows and online as well. So, uh, but you actually will be able to see and you can see the Magalog online, uh, which obviously relates to the partnership um, as well. But there's more we can be doing. Don't worry. One more. Yeah. Um, any potential for any Outlander inspired merchandise from Sex? Um, I don't think so, um, being honest with you. Um, I think, you know, as I say, the, the, the marrying of these beautiful outfits with um, the regular fashion that we're selling now is, is the real, real main story, really. So, uh, but never say never. You know, it, it, can, it can always happen at Sax. So, uh, if Terry needs a, a new role um, <laughs> designing fashion, then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely speak to him. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Nice meeting you.